<laughs> Hello, Junior Artists. It's Miss D from the East Cleveland Public Library. And today, i like to speak to you about the famous African-American artist and art teacher, Alma Thomas. I also like to recommend the book, Little Leaders, Bold Women and Black History, which features role models, leaders, and everyday women, including Alma Thomas, which did extraordinary things to change the world. And later, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own DIY Alma Thomas artwork. Alma Thomas was born on September 22nd, 1891 in Columbus, Georgia. Thomas displayed artistic interests at an early age and spent most of her time observing the beauty and color of nature and would often use the red clay by the river near her home to create sculptures. Alma attended Armstrong Technical High School where she took her very first art class. In 1921, Thomas became Howard's University first fine arts student and was among the first African-American women to graduate with a fine arts degree. After college, Alma became an art teacher at Shaw Junior High School and remained an art teacher for nearly 35 years. Thomas did not start serious painting until she was in her early 70s. And in 1972, at the age of 80, she held her first solo art exhibition at New York's Whitney Museum of American Art. Alma Thomas is best known for her bold, bright, and colorful mosaic style paintings similar to this one titled The Eclipse. Look closely. What patterns, colors, and shapes do you see? Alma drew inspiration for her artwork through nature and the environment in which she lived. What do you think inspired this painting? I'll give you a hint. The answer can be found in the title, Starry Night and the Astronauts. Thomas Art is also known to have rhythm or a series of repeated shapes or patterns. Can you describe the rhythm in this piece titled The Watusi? Now it's time to create your very own Alma Thomas collage. You will need construction paper, an 8x10 canvas, and glue. Begin by cutting out a circle. Next, cut your paper into rectangular strips. Then cut your strips into smaller squares and glue on canvas as shown. Now it's time to start the second layer of your pattern. Begin by applying glue. Then add more layers of squares. Continue adding more layers of squares, like so, until your canvas is completely filled. And there you have it, junior artists, your very own Alma Thomas inspired collage. Job well done.